Is your group of players about to embark on a dangerous journey beneath a city into some long forgotten tunnels or a sewer system? Then this video is probably for you. Today we are making some were rats. Welcome back to another episode of Vindaga Games. Let's get rolling into the project. We're gonna do kind of a speed run on these guys. Um, so here's the standard minifigure cutout stencil. These guys just stand a little bit shorter. Adding some quick detail for reference so we can kind of get an idea of what we want our wear rats to look like. After uh, coloring them in, I've added some weapons and also a cloak and a hood. Um, the crossbow that I added up there, I ended up deciding uh, not to go with that and going with a different look entirely for one of them. Uh, but here's them cut out. Now we're just going to detail the other side. In here we put the details like the eyes and the teeth and the nose because we're going to be folding the heads over, kind of giving them a hunched over animal-like look. I also added some tails that I cut out. And here's what they look like, all finished up, bent into poses. Uh, the tails are glued to the base to give stability and I added little hood caps to the top of them. And here's another one. I really am a fan of how this guy is posed. The cape blowing in the back and the tail coming forward like that just makes them look so just a lot of great details on them. I'm a big fan of this one too, the way he's crouching, ready to spring into action. Just once again, it's fun to make details with these guys. And here is a swarm of rats token. Um, I uh, just cut about um, some silhouettes on the side there, but then I actually made the minifigures, um, several of them, and just cut and paste them basically onto this guy. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below on how I make these little guys in case you guys are interested in that. Next step is we're going to be making a large hulking rat wear rat token. This guy is going to be big, nasty, lots of cuts and scars and sores. He's just going to look really gross. Um, making, uh, making the main body here and also a lower jaw, we're going to ink this guy in. Once again, just going crazy with the details. As you can see, lots of cuts and scrapes. Um, I actually uh, made sure to add the details. Um, you can see I made a little mistake up there on his right hand, um, but I'm actually including the tail onto this instead of making it a separate piece just to give it some more strength. Um, and I'm using a thicker piece of cardstock for this too. And there it is all colored up. We are going to get ready to cut this guy out. As you can see, there's lots of sores and cut details on this guy. He just looks like he's a mess. All right, and here's the reverse side. I kind of got a little uh, fun and creative with his eyes, though. One is a little bigger than the other, like he's been in a few fights. Now uh, you can see the details on the upper jaw there. Um, and uh, we're gonna be cutting out the feet with the toes so they're separate pieces. And here's him all glued together. The jaw was added on the bottom. I added a few cuts on his ears and we bent the tail around and fastened it for more stability. And you can see his toes are uh, each individually cut out and kind of curled a little bit, just giving this guy some shape and um, contour. And he just looks nasty. Like you would not want to run into this guy in the sewers. Next, we're gonna add a nice mangy mane of hair to this guy. I thought it'd be a fun feature to add after I finish the build. Kind of just give him a wild hyena kind of look. And then I'll be cutting them out individually um, and uh, putting it together as one big piece. And each of these are gonna be cut out like little bristles. Just a lot of cutting, a little bit of patience, and you're gonna have a great result. So now we're gonna turn it over and uh, add ink to the other side and then bend this into shape, folding it over into a V kind of a shape, and then also kind of curving it forward and curling it. I'm using kind of the cuts along as the, on the hair as kind of a, a nice little bendy guide. Once you got the shape you're happy with, it's time to glue the piece on. And you might have to mess around with it a little bit and stick it on and tighten it up and kind of hold it on there until it dries. It's looking good so far. I'm just gonna add one more piece of hair and cut it out and put it 
right in between those other uh, the other mane of hair spots there. A little bit of glue. We're just gonna stick it right in the middle there just to kind of give him some full, fabulously nasty looking hair. So there he is, the finished result. Just give him time to dry and you're all set to go. Well, there you have it, guys. Is your party ready to wrestle these ragtag rancorous rats? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to be notified when I drop future content. If you guys would like to leave a comment down below, feel free to do so. I'm always eager to hear what other ideas you guys have. I will be making more content really soon, and so you can expect more videos to come up. Keep your eyes open, and until we meet again.